2023 Eastside Elementary School in Clay County had some impressive results. 100% of its students passed IREE. Oh, you want to celebrate that. Mm -hmm. There's a new staff member, though, who's helping to maintain that statistic. But they're an unconventional hire. It's a great story. News 10's Caitlin Hunt introduces us to Leo, the school's new therapy dog. She explains how he'll help students in more ways than one. Meet Leo. He's a four month old mini golden doodle that already has a very big job. Leo will be Eastside Elementary's newest therapy dog. Leo's handler and third grade teacher Stephanie Sutherland is happy to have him join the Eastside team. I'm really excited to be able to work with a dog that will have a job and that will be able to, you know, support other people around him and students here at Eastside. School administration has already found a specific duty for this little pup. Eastside principal Lisa Frodeman says Leo will be a literacy dog. Students who may struggle with reading or who are a bit shy about reading out loud can gain confidence by reading to Leo. Ferdinand says the students have been excited from the start about Leo joining the East Side family. As soon as we knew that we had approval to acquire Leo, we shared that with our students and uh, we had lots of cheers, lots of smiling faces. They were, were super excited. Leo is sure to bring more than just smiles to students and staff. Ferdinand says he should help with students' moods and other feelings. A lot of research out there that tells us that therapy dogs really help with uh, student anxiety, uh, really help calm students down in certain situations. But Leo's got some time before he can dip his paws into his work. He has to become a certified therapy dog before he can do any interactions with students, and that takes a year of training. But Handler Sutherland says she'll be right alongside Leo throughout all of his training. Also, he can become a shining member of Eastside Elementary. Everyone loves dogs. It just helps them, you know, kind of shine a little brighter. And I think that that will be a really good thing for our school and that the work that he will be doing will really help those students that are involved here at Eastside. In Clay County, Caitlin Hunt, News 10.